Hello everyone, and welcome to another Company Heroes 2 replay cast. My name is ATR, and today we're going to have ourselves a 1v1 on Arnhem Checkpoint. Our heroes today are going to be Mr. MM Lovenest playing as the Ostir, or the Wehrmacht faction, in the blue. And his opponent is going to be none other than Hoi Paul AD playing as the U.S. forces in the red. Not much else left to say in the intro. I am purposely not talking a lot because I keep getting worse and when I talk, my body wants to cough. And that makes it very difficult to commentate. So I don't know why I'm recording. I should actually take a break, but... I'm going to give it a shot. <clears throat> wow, that's hard. Anyways, so it should be a good match. Two awesome players here. And um, I'm not entirely sure what uh, round of the tournament this was from, but... Wow, well, I mean, it doesn't exactly matter. I'm not going to be following any tiered play. It's just I wanted to see this game, and both players are in it. So let's take a look. So let's see. Loveness for his part, getting himself tier 1 like you would expect. Getting two Grenadiers from it and an MG42. MG42 currently engaging rifles over on the left-hand side. Rifles getting suppressed here as they do have heavy cover, but one of the members was sitting there on the side and it ends up getting them suppressed. <clears throat> the uh, This rifle squad is uh, moving out of the way, trying to crawl out of the way. Going to try and get themselves behind some cover here, behind that hedge as that breaks line of sight. And we did have a grand squad assaulting them, so that's why they were also getting out of the uh, area, because otherwise they would just simply get... Taken there. Gonna be able to pop inside the house. Take some shots flying at the uh, MG as it moves away, but the MG has repositioned. Over on the right hand side, we did hear an engagement as the Pios and a rifle squad engaged, apparently. Uh, none of them losing any of their members, so nothing really to report there. So for Paul ID, we have Miss. Uh, not Miss. <laughs> we have um, three rifles to start with. Nothing out of the ordinary, and Loveness is getting himself his third Grand Squad, so currently. With a bigger count there as far as the uh, the units go. I'm assuming, though, attacking coming? No, nothing yet. Okay, well, we'll see what uh, Paul is uh, planning to do. Because <clears throat> you can see right there, for Loveness, he's up to 33 now. Whereas Paul is sitting at 24, because he's not getting anything else just yet. Doesn't show me any upgrades being done. Has a lot of manpower, up to 400. So, what is Paul going to be getting Probably waiting for the lieutenant, I would assume. Because the captain is 60, so yeah, I mean, if he's waiting on something, probably going to be that uh, extra point of fuel. And... Pops. We're probably going to be ticking a little bit more. Well, anyways, let's take a look what's going on here. We do have engagements in multiple locations. We have this rear echelon squad behind the lines. We have this uh, rifle squad forced to retreat as it ran into the MG-42. And we have another rifle squad on the far left-hand side, capping them territory. So, <clears throat> there we go. The lieutenant is finally queued up. For Paul. It'll be interesting to see his, uh, why he uh, ended up well, basically waiting. You see Battle Phase 1 now down for a love nest. I'm assuming some tech. Loveness still having that little uh, habit <laughs> of uh, laying down his uh, tier one as close to the edge as possible. Just, uh, which is nice. It doesn't have the dual benefit that it used to have in uh, the original Company of Heroes, but it still allows you to essentially, if you're fighting here, you know, back off a little bit and reinforce on the fly. So it gives you a little bit more zone of defender's advantage. Obviously, it is a risk as, you know, more exposed, could get taken down, but you know, if your enemy is able to move up and destroy your one of your buildings because it's at the edge, you're probably already in a bad position to start with anyways, so nothing too uh, important there. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, center map, we hear an engagement, MG42 opening up on the rear echelon squad, house to house, so that engagement will take quite a while. Right hand side, rifles and 
Grands engaging. Grands do have heavy cover, so they will win that engagement. The rifles, though, will be disconnecting the point and then being forced to retreat. Does allow them to disconnect the fuel point for a little while, so reduces the resources there for Lovenest. And we see the utility car coming into play for Paul. Lovenest, for his part, has built his Tier 2, and I'm going to assume a 2-2-2 is going to be coming out of that as soon as possible. I mean, it does need... Uh, Basically, 10 more fuel, so he has to wait a little bit. But we'll see. Lieutenant and Rifle Squad over on the left-hand side, getting right on top of that MG-42. The MG-42 taking quite a bit of damage. Down the two men, going to be forced to pop out and get the hell out of there. Otherwise, it can get itself killed. Not going to retreat, though. As it looks like uh, Loveness is going to be wanting to keep it on the field for a little while. And, of course, we do see... Uh, Loveness getting himself that 222 as we expected, and because he was high on that manpower, he's also going to be queuing up a Panzer Grenadier squad. Paul Lady has selected his doctrine, and that is the Armor Company. So we'll probably see some Wolverines coming into play. And we see the MG42 having backed off. It pops itself inside the church, and from the top of the bell tower, it's just laying into that house with incendiary rounds. The uh, rifle squad inside just taking massive damage, forced to retreat, and the lieutenant, also unable to hold the ground, is forced to retreat as well as Paul is flushed out of the center. Up in the north, the Pio squad with the flamethrower trying to chase him down. Not really going to do that, but, you know, it's going to try. And a rifle squad over on the right-hand side is going to get on top of that grand squad and force it to retreat. The uh, 222 and the utility car are over on the left-hand side. Utility car has taken some damage. It has engine damage. The crew can actually do the uh, critical thing. However, they decide to pop themselves out. Get bazooka shots flying at that 222. The uh, 222 will probably be destroying. Yeah, destroys the uh, the 222. I mean, the uh, utility car quite handily. Not much of an issue there, even with the bazooka of the um, vehicle crew. It is able to take out that car without really any issue because it wasn't being supported by anything else. Unfortunate turn there for... Uh, for Paul, but at the very least, though, he does keep his bazooka on the field and the vehicle crew, so that's something. And at least he has some type of anti-vehicle. Whereas, you know, before he would have been shit out of luck. And the 2 2 2 would just be, like, running around like a madman, killing everything because it's not being opposed. So Love Nest, investing heavily into that infantry. Not a bad decision, also especially since he killed that uh, utility car. The utility car's 50 cal is pretty strong against infantry. And now without that, Panzer Grenadiers are on the field. Panzer Grenadiers also don't need to get upgraded with Shreks just yet. They can eventually to deal with whatever comes next. But for now, with the utility car gone, they are able to just be well, essentially shock infantry and uh, get that damage up close. Grand Squad getting torn apart there by the uh, vehicle crew and the lieutenant as they get inside that house. 222 trying to provide some support, manages to distract long enough so the Grand Squad makes it out of there without getting killed. 222 trying to lay into that house, the auto cannon doing a little bit of damage, but not too much damage to the structure or the units inside. The vehicle crew trying to close in and uh, get some damage in there, however, with Panzer Grenadiers getting on top of them, that vehicle crew is going to be torn apart, so it is forced to retreat from Paul. 222 now pushing forward, nothing there to stop them. Smart move there by uh, Love Nest, realizing that, yeah, that rifle squad does not have veterancy, so that means it doesn't have access to that anti-tank grenade. So I can just push and get on top of them and do as much damage as I can. And so Paul, not doing very well right now. Going to be getting himself a 50 cal machine gun just to have something to try and stop all this infantry, especially the Panzer Grenadiers, from being able to close that distance. But yeah, I mean, Love Nest is feeling pretty good right now, I would say. Rear echelon squad on the right-hand side, quickly forced to retreat as the 222 tries to chase it down. We'll chase it down a little bit and get some damage in there, but nothing too significant. Uh, out on the field, we do not have... <laughs> yeah, we don't have the uh, weapons rack upgraded just yet, so no more bazookas are going to be coming out just yet. I'm assuming Paul at this stage... Well, no, I mean... Waiting for the Wolverine, probably not the best idea, considering he's only at three command points. Would be a while, but I mean, I suppose he could. We'll see what happens here. MG42 taking some shots at the approaching infantry. Rifles are able to disconnect that strategic point. Going to be recovering a little bit of territory. 50 cal machine gun moving over to the left-hand side. Going to be set up there to maybe stop any approaching infantry. 
Not actually currently set up. It's being told to actually capture the point directly, so it's just sitting on top of it without deploying. Once it sees something, though, it will probably be deploying. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah. 50 cal machine gun spotting those grands out in the open. Gonna get some shots flying at them, get them suppressed. Big infantry blob there for Paul, right on top of that. Panzer Grenadier squad forces it to retreat. And all the infantry for Loveness is forced to retreat from the left hand side. Up in the center, Panzer Grenadiers trying to uh, get into position here to flank something. They're trying to go for the uh, vehicle crew. Vehicle crew being the priority target there for Loveness. That's if he takes that down, with it goes all the anti vehicle that. Uh, that Paul currently has, so like I said, with that one down, the uh, 222 would have free reign to just eat all the rifles. Everything. So the Panzer Grenadiers are going to be decapping the point again, disconnecting. Well, actually, no, it doesn't disconnect anything. This one is the one that would disconnect. Grand Squad getting assaulted here by rifles and the lieutenant. MG42 behind it. It is at an angle to support, but it is blocked there by the hedge, so it's unable to get any shots off on it. We do have some mines laid down across the field there for Loveness. Grand Squad, though, down to one man, forced to retreat, barely makes it out of there as the Lieutenant and the Rifle Squad decide to instead move into a different position rather than trying to focus it down. Had they focused down the squad until the very last second, they may have been able to take it down, but it seems unlikely. Lieutenant on the left-hand side, getting caught by the 222, forced to retreat. 222 could potentially chase it down and take it out, but I don't think it will be able to. It's a little bit far away. And the uh, MG42 is forced to reposition there as the rifle squad inside this house is uh, doing what it can. Anyways, 50 cal machine gun inside that house getting a rifle grenade into the face. The 222 is going to try and chase it down. Can potentially take it out, however, is currently focusing on the rifle squad in the south. Gets a rifle grenade on the face. We see two more squads coming on top of them. Both of them are going to be throwing anti-tank rifle grenades at it. Got to be trying to take out the uh, 222 in one fell swoop. There goes the shot. And with small arms fire, should be able to finish off the 222. So a bit of uh, an over-eagerness there by Loveness. However, the 222... Ah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was like, it's actually starting to get out of there. But no, the uh, vehicle crew manages to move up into range. Throws a Vesuka shot. And down goes the 222 for Loveness. So nice uh, keeping cool there for Paul Eddie. And uh, yeah, Loveness got a, got a little bit too greedy and got snared too far forward. The snare, like back here... Wouldn't probably be, be that big an issue. I mean, it just backs off and gets repaired. So the 50 cal retreating from the center. So Paul, essentially mission accomplished, manages to, uh, you know, kill that vehicle, but is essentially forced off of the field. Levnest still holding pretty much all the territories, disconnecting the strategic point and removing the fuel income for Paul for now. 29 to 10 as far as the fuel income goes. So, you know, significant difference. We do see the captain now getting uh, onto the field for Paul. So has... A little bit more anti-vehicle capabilities now, and, of course, it gets access to the steward, which is what I'm assuming is going to be coming out of that. Usually, though, you see the steward as a timed attack kind of play, trying to get it out of there as fast as possible, so maybe not, but we'll see. It's still a good choice, regardless. Loveness, for his part, though, hasn't really been doing much as far as uh, units goes. Gets himself another, uh, well, not another, but gets himself a pack gun. Just to have it on the field in case any vehicles come, but uh, for now it seems to be just teching. Gets uh, Battle Phase 2 going right now. So center map, big engagement here, big push from a lot of sides. Grenz with LMGs able to hold back a lot of infantry, Panzer Grenadiers, flamethrowers on the Pios, everything moving back. 50 cal machine gun trying to lay into that house with the Grenz, but they're pretty secure in there. They're going to take a while to get torn down. And Panzer Grenadiers on the right hand side going for the strategic point. They decide to. Leave it alone as they realize that there is a fuel point getting stolen there by the rear echelon squad. So the center map once again in possession there for Lovenest. Grand squad over on the left hand side going to be trying to move over to the fuel. However, gets caught out of there in the open by the 50 cal machine gun and is quickly going to be forced to retreat. We do have two 50 cal machine guns on the field for Paul, so he's able to... Uh, Provide a lot of support. For example, here the Panzer Grenadiers get caught out in the open by the 50 cal, get forced to hit the dirt, and with a lot of infantry coming up on top of them, they're forced to retreat before they're able to do anything here to the 50 cal. Grand Squad deciding to disengage from that 50 cal, going to be moving back to the victory point. However, with all this infantry flooding on top of them, if they don't retreat and retreat quickly, they are going to get themselves killed. We see a flanking rifle squad coming up to cut off the retreat path. There they go on the retreat. Rifles flying, the Bars and Thompsons from the Lieutenant flying, but 
they are able to retreat in a good path through the back alley and make it out of there. Center map, Grand Squad running into that MG. Going to be throwing a rifle grenade and killing the gunner. Fortunately, though, for the 50 cal, it was spread out quite well. So only one member dies, and it's able to keep the suppression going. And with all the infantry blobbing into the center, they're going to be getting the hell out of there. So for Loveness, he has teched up now, since he was allowed to do so, and is getting himself a Panzer IV. Panzer IV, quite a good option there. We'll see uh, how that pans out for uh, Paul. If you hear the uh, yelling, those would be my kids. Aren't they sweet? Uh, Grand Squad over on the uh, left-hand side, catching one of the 50 cows inside that house. Forcing it to retreat down to one, I mean two men, with a rifle grenade, but makes it out of there. So, Paul, once again, forced to back off. They'll still have a lot of infantry together. Loveness could do with the uh, MG42 there, but it's a little bit further back. Grand Squad is going to be forced to retreat. And we have a, a Pio Squad with a flamethrower trying to go for the victory point. Might be able to decap it. Yeah, manages to decap it, but it's going to get itself killed if it doesn't get the hell out of the way. Oh, it didn't get the hell out of the way. Uh, well, it did, but down to two men. Gotta take some shots. Probably lose another man. But it looks like it's gonna make it out of there. Panzer IV now coming in strong. Gonna be throwing in some shots in there. Not getting, uh... Well, I did, actually. I was gonna say not getting shot by the captain, but... Captain does take a volley at it. However, it misses. Panzer IV takes a shot. Very clubbed up together. Could have actually wiped the squad there. However, they're moving around. Panzer IV still able to aim some shots at it. There goes a good hit. Captain down to three men. And with that goes his anti-infantry capabilities. Vehicle crew moving up with his bazooka. Bazooka shots flying, managing to get some damage in there. But without an AT gun to follow it up, it's going to be kind of difficult. We do have access now to the Wolverine here for uh, Paul. Wolverine using the, I believe it's Chark or something, uh, skin. Um, he's able to push in there aggressively. However, runs into a lot of opposition with the pack gun and, well, Grens and all such. So it takes quite a bit of damage. Uh, you know, still alive, no problem. About 75% strength. But it is unable to go hunt down the Panzer IV. Wouldn't have been able to really hunt it down regardless because it's not that damaged. Had it taken more damage from the bazookas, then you might say, like, ah, I can maybe get the upper hand and take it out quickly. 50 cal machine guns on the left-hand side, both getting caught there by the Panzer IV. One of them almost getting torn apart. The other one makes it out of there with two men. The Panzer Grenadiers nearby are going to try and do what they can. Right-hand side, Grand Squad going for the victory point. Behind them, we have a rear echelon squad capping some territory. And back at base, we have another pack gun getting built while some Grand to reinforce. Infantry moving out for Paul. Wolverine just uh, holding territory there. Is currently set to prioritize vehicles, so it will not be shooting at any infantry. Which is good, because it sucks at killing infantry unless you run them over. Which is kind of what you want to do with that one. So Lieutenant, over on the right-hand side, pushes away a Grand Squad as it did cap that victory point. We see another Grand Squad move up into range. However, it stays a little bit further back to capture the strategic point. And behind it, we have the Panzer Grenadier Squad capturing the fuel point. Victory point 500, complete 500 for Love Nest. While Paul uh, sits now at 89 points, so... Losing quite severely there in that regard. Bazooka shots fly, however, at the uh, Panzer IV as the Wolverine tries to come in for the kill. Manages to bypass the pack gun and get some uh, hits in there on the Panzer IV. Panzer IV taking quite a bit of damage, but with the pack guns and everything in position, the uh, Wolverine does get taken out. Pack gun is there. Getting targeted here by the uh, bazookas. One of them pushes forward. A very weird decision, but seemingly distracting the uh, <laughs> the captain and the vehicle crew. Which surprisingly works, and it actually keeps the other squad alive and allows them all to get the hell out of there. So Panzer IV, severely uh, damaged here, needs to get some repairs going, so it's going to be out of commission for a little while. However, it's still alive, and I guess that's what counts, right? Raffle squad on the left-hand side getting uh, shot at by the MG. Not sure if it got pinned down, but it, well, now it's forced to retreat. Tank destroyer ready. And a 50 cal on the left-hand side is going to go for the victory point. And when that happens, if it does happen, 
Paul is finally going to be bleeding some points for Loveness, who's still, like I said, holding 500 strong. Patrick are due to capture that strategic point. The victory point is right there, so they're probably going to go for it. Grand Squad up in the north going to be trying to get the flank that on that uh, 50 cal machine gun. 50 cal machine gun, though, uh, manages to set up, and the Grants just stop in front of it, so that's not going to work for them. And the point on the left-hand side does not get capped by the 50 cal machine gun, so no point bleeding for now. Nobody's bleeding any points at this stage. Paul has 69. A oh, horror, horror, horror. But, um, yeah, the point's gonna get capped again by the Grand, so. Not having a good time here for Paul. So, right hand side, the Panzer Grenadiers are gonna go for that victory point. 50 cal machine gun gonna be moving up and setting up right in front of them. Panzer Grenadiers gonna be trying to close the distance. They uh, do manage to close the distance. Bundle grenade goes off. It's right on top of the MG. There goes the shots. Down to one man. Gonna get cleared out here as the, uh,. Wow, it's actually going to make it out of there? That's surprising. Wolverine goes in for the crush. However, the squad does retreat before it gets crushed. And as we all know, historical data shows that when men were retreating, they uh, were unable to get run down by uh, tank threats. Panzer Grenadiers uh, in the center, getting surrounded here by a lot of rifles. Not uh, taking too much damage here, actually. They're able to withstand this quite well. Still four men strong, only now losing one of their members and being forced to retreat. Panzer IV moving up into the center, trying to take some shots here. Manages to get itself surrounded here by the Wolverine and getting shot in all directions by the Bazookas. Looks like the Wolverine will be able to destroy the Panzer IV if it gets a good shot there on the rear. Oh, it missed its shot. Gets out of control. Takes another shot. Oh, gets killed over there. Bazookas, though, are getting right on top of the Panzer IV and they should be able to actually finish the job. No, no, they don't. The armored skirts... Got popped there on the Panzer IV with the kill of the Wolverine. Gets, gives it enough health and uh, armor to uh, to stay alive. Maybe would have still survived, but who knows. Uh, geez, not, not not going very well for Paul in this game. But sure as hell trying, isn't he? 69 to 47 as far as pop cap goes. Panzer IV now back at base. Second Wolverine killed. Panzer Grenadiers pushing out. Veteran C2 on both of them. Captain Squad really unable to do too much here. Manages to capture the point and disconnect a little bit of territories, but it will be able to get back in there. However, it finally happened. Paul manages to cap points, two points in his uh, favor, and starts bleeding the points for Loveness, who is now at 496. 247. <laughs> Raffle Squad in the center. Taking a little bit too long. Gets gunned down there by the Panzer Grenadier Squad. More veterans are getting lost. 50 cal machine guns, though. Throwing in some shots into the center. The Panzer Grenadiers are able to uh, decap the point and break line of sight, which means the 50 cals are going to need to move up to do a little bit more. Right-hand side, rear echelon squad still trying as much as can to cap. Being utilized on the uh, fringes there. And we have a rifle squad hold up inside this house trying to defend that victory point as Love Nest manages to capture that center point and reduce the bleeding to only one point per tick, having lost 20 points in that uh, exchange. Panzer Grenadier Squad in the center, getting a 50 count in both two directions. Then we have rifles and vehicle crews with SMGs getting on top of them. So, you know, pretty much forced to retreat rather quickly. But the vehicle crew, though, with its bazooka, unable to do too much to this Panzer IV. Panzer IV, I mean, pretty hardy there. And with only one bazooka, I mean, it'll take damage, but it's going to take quite a bit to... Uh, Take it down. We see Paul going for yet again another Wolverine. I mean, he kind of has to. It's his anti-tank. Uh, and something got wiped out. I don't know what it was. Dude. Yeah, I guess I'll write it down and try and catch it. Okay, anyways. Uh... So yeah, the Wolverine moves up, takes some shots there at the Panzer IV. Second Panzer IV, though, on the field there for a Love Nest. The original one is a little bit back there. Both of them a little bit damaged. Pack guns are getting set up there to try to provide whatever support they can. We see a shot getting uh, directed there into the ground. Manages to not actually hit anything. Panzer IV is moving up, getting some shots flying there at the captain. The captain is in a house that is about to collapse, so it's going to have to get the hell out of there. Shots flying at the new Panzer IV, brings it down to about half health. 
We see the uh, 24 240 millimeter howitzer barrage getting called in at some location. Looks like we got called in over here on the left hand side. Pack guns are able to move back out of the way, and the Panzer IV is also able to dodge that. So Loveness will have to retreat essentially, but he manages to keep his stuff on the field. This Panzer IV would probably do with getting the hell out of there a little bit. Grand Squad over on the right hand side gets a rifle squad run right on top of them. Three on three with an LMG. The uh, bars, though, are able to do a lot more damage here at close range, so the uh, rifles end up winning that engagement. And on the far right-hand side, a Panzer Grenadier squad, again, just sitting there. None of them getting upgraded with Treks because, well, he doesn't need to. He has the Panzer Force. And so far, there's only one vehicle at a time, so... Panzer Grenadier squad moving up to the north. Gonna get uh, intercepted there by the... Wolverine. Wolverine trying to back off into them. Can it actually get the crush? Looks like it might. Nope. Retreat gets hit. The uh, the lieutenant and the captain, though, are in the way. They're going to be able to get some good shots flying at the Panzer Guardier squad. Maybe kill a member or two, but they shouldn't be able to clear off the uh, squad. Panzer IV, with its veterancy, moving straight into the center. Going to be trying to clear off that MG-42. Not MG-42, that's a 50 cal. But... And the Wolverine moves up. Going to be getting a shot going on the Panzer IV. Good shot on the Panzer IV. Manages to inflict a decent amount of damage. Shot back by the Panzer IV. Getting shot also in return by the pack gun behind it. And the uh, Wolverine gets brought down to about half health. Panzer IV disengaging, going to be backing off as the vehicle crew pops out. They're going to get some repairs going. You have a second pack on behind it. The uh, captain manages to pop itself in. Get a good barrage going there with the uh, bazookas. Get some additional damage going on the Panzer IV and almost takes it down because the two bazookas in the captain squad, that's a lot of damage. In it. Actually, uh, it's surprisingly a lot of damage. You wouldn't expect that much. You would expect it maybe from double Shreks, but the bazookas are pretty goddamn strong, actually. And the second Panzer IV moves in to relieve his uh, ally. So the uh, the Wolverine gets itself torn apart as it rushes into the center, into the range of two pack guns and a Panzer IV. So down goes the Wolverine there for Paul. Panzer Grenadiers in the center are going to be forced to retreat. We see a lot of infantry pushing forward as the Panzer IV is trying to pack off out of the range. We do have the uh, Vasubas there on the vehicle crew, which are able to do damage. Rifle grenades flying. At both the tank and the uh, and the infantry. However, we now see the Austin coming up more for a flank, getting a good flank going there. All in all, that infantry might be able to clear out a squad here. We see the uh, second Wolverine, or well, actually that would be what the fourth Wolverine of the game, coming into play here, trying to chase down and hunt down the Panzer IV. The Panzer IV is quite damaged, so that actually is going to work out. Gets a good shot going off out of it. Going to be uh, even maybe crushing here the uh, things. Shots from the uh, pack gun, managing to inflict a lot of damage. The Panzer IV is trying to chase it down. Panzer IV did get decrewed and abandoned, so the uh, Wolverine is forced to not even try and make a run for it, as it just sits there to take another shot, destroy the tank, managing to remove the uh, unvetted Panzer IV from the field, but also ends up losing itself. Up in the north, the Oswin is... Uh, being a harasser, <laughs> gonna be trying to destroy. Yeah, not sure if that was worth it there for Loveness, but he went for it regardless. Uh, goes for the kill on the um, on the ambulance, which means that no more healing for all the infantry, and that's actually pretty good because well, weak infantry are quite easy to kill. Now the thing is that uh, how much? Well, it's only ten fuel, so it's not really that difficult. But it is gonna set Paul a little bit further back, because if he wants to keep getting those Wolverines, he needs ninety, uh, and you know that means he essentially needs to get a hundred now if he wants to get the ambulance out now. Not gonna get it out now, as his infantry seem to be in uh, decent condition. But once an engagement happens, that's gonna turn around. Right. Anyways, mines. S minefields getting laid down in the center here for Loveness. Good decision there. Adding uh, even more difficulty there for Paul. Right hand side, rifles forced to retreat by a Panzer Grenadier squad. Down to three men, they make it out of there. Lieutenant inside the house, popping in and getting shots flying at the uh, squad out of the open. We also have a Grand Squad popping into this house with its LMG, able to also provide a lot of damage. And the Panzer IV still vetted, moving over to the left hand side. 
Bazookas are now equipped on a lot of other infantry. We have the, uh, well, I say a lot when there's just another bazooka here. Two bazookas, I mean, with the rear echelon squad. It's a good squad to put them on, though. Oof. That's hitting. Panzer four is going to be popping. Oh, the uh, bazooka gets dropped. Kyle's squad ends up picking it up. That's unfortunate there for uh, for Paul. So the Panzer IV will be out of commission for a while. Very, very, very hurt. But like I said, all the infantry now injured. Going to be moving out into the field and then going to be having to move out injured and not healed up. For example, this squad has already lost one-fourth of its health and it's five-man strong. So a lot of their members are going to move out into the field already injured. Which means they lose the next engagement more, more than likely. Far left hand side, we do have a lonely 50 cal machine gun just sitting there covering the uh, the victory point. Points. But victory points are now down to 25 for Paul. Trying though, he's trying as much as he can. MG42 is going to be rebuilt here for Loveness as he lost his at some point. I'm assuming that's the one we're going to see on the roof. Picture in picture. And uh, builds yet another one, just adds two MGs into the uh, mix to be able to stop all this flooding infantry. So that's a good choice. Another vehicle out on the field for Paul. As a Wolverine gets uh, built. Oh well, requisition doesn't actually get built. And we see that a uh, bazooka squad. Uh, not sure who it was though. Oh, the captain squad got killed in the center. Wow, that uh, that sucks. That sucks for Paul. Uh, gonna be sending in that uh, Wolverine. Gonna be uh, crushing a lot of the uh, mines and clearing it from the field. Yeah, the bazooka is there. Oh, very nice drive-by crushing there for Loveness. Crushes an entire Panzergrader squad in one fell swoop. That is why, I mean, even though it's lame to do, uh, you know, you don't feel exactly very good about it. Uh, you pretty much are forced to retreat every time a Wolverine goes for one of your squads. You can try and hope that it doesn't crush at all and just dances around, but retreat, you run the risk of having that happen and you the entire squad. So, you know, Paul bringing himself back into the game a little bit. <laughs> and just to cap two of the points, though, so that means the points are no longer bleeding for him. He is down to 16 points, however, so any uh, drop in uh, control pretty much might be game for him. He is now, at this point, getting himself that ambulance, because, like I said, he basically needs it, because... Units are unable to really push forward and do what they want. But at this point, Paul throws in the towel and uh, calls it quits. I mean, it's understandable. Unlikely that he would win. I guess he was uh, forced to retreat and about to lose the center, I suppose. And with that, it was probably game. So, well, there you go, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the game. If you have any positive or negative remarks, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you have any replays you want to send me, go ahead and send them to the email that I will put in the description. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.